Right. So uh, we will see uh, the function of some of the important things. For example, uh, this one, we said it's a nucleolus. So function of nucleolus is produced Uh, ribosomal RNA, R R N A. So if you uh, forget what is uh, ribosomal RNA, you can check the previous note from unit one. Uh, RNA under RNA we have divided into three: mRNA, tRNA, and rRNA. So uh, this is linked to that lesson. It produces a ribosomal RNA. And uh, chromatin. So this, uh, if it is in this the dark area or light area, actually chromatin is a DNA plus histone uh, protein. So the main function is they store genetic information and control uh, cell activity. So it controls cell activity and store genetic information. Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, uh, nuclear pore, Uh, their function is uh, help uh, exchanging molecules. So it is important that we had also uh, noticed the function of some of the things. Can you please add uh, this information as function of some of the important uh, parts of this nucleus. Nuclear pore helps to exchange. Works. It helps to go in and out uh, molecules. Helps exchange molecules. It helps exchange uh, exchanging molecules. Okay. Okay. Uh... Right, we uh, try to look a little bit of this uh, uh, chromatin.
So this one is the histone protein, and this is the DNA molecule. So DNA molecule uh, wrap around histone proteins, and uh, uh, at one point, uh, this histone protein also get together and start to make a coil with its DNA. So now uh, DNA is wrapped around it like this. So finally, uh, what we can see a very tightly coiled DNA with the proteins and uh, we can visualize this. So this continue to getting very thick and thick. And after that, we can see a structure of chromosome. So this is called final structure chromosome. So his tone, and this is called a nucleosome. So that is DNA plus one histone complex. So nucleosome is DNA plus one histone complex. So then uh, they are going to coil and then finally produce the chromosomes. So this words, uh, uh, histone, chromatin, and also one uh, part is called uh, chromatin. So this one is the one uh, packed DNA molecule, and the other one is a duplicated one. So when we can, uh, when we see all the chromosome of a cell, for example, uh, they are organized in pairs like this. And this is called karyotype. All pairs of chromosome of a cell. Okay, sir. <clears throat> Do you have a space to write this? I don't think, uh, maybe somewhere else. I think there is not a cell. There's a one blank page, you can use it. So when all the histone and the DNA, when they all of the all of them join together, they make the chromosome. Yeah, now you see if you can start with DNA molecule. This is a histone protein. So it's going to wrap around it to form the nu nucleosome. Nucleosome is the DNA plus one histone complex. And here you can see uh, all the histone complex and the DNA again coil and coil to make uh, chromosomes. So many nucleosome gives one chromosome. Yeah, nucleosomes, all the nucleosomes join together to make a chromosomes. So when we see chromosome, uh, all number of chromosomes, uh, they are called karyotype. Okay. All, all 24 all chromosomes. chromosome of a cell is called karyotype. Karyotype. Yes. K-A-R-Y-O-T-Y-P-E. 
type. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's uh, all about the nucleus. So nucleus is the most important organelle in the cells and it also occupies the big part of the cells. So today we learn uh, first organelle as nucleus. So how it looks like under the microscope, like micro, uh, electron microscope is like this. And uh, we learn uh, the most important thing is the organization of DNA inside the nucleus. 
So that is important to understand first because DNA is a very large molecule. So if we want to fit into the nucleus, we need this kind of arrangement, wrap around proteins and then wrap again and coil again and then condense to make the chromosomes. So heavily compressed molecules, uh, we can see as uh, chromosomes. So chromosomes uh, exist in pairs uh, in the cells. So all the chromosome number in pairs, it's called karyotype. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we we'll continue uh, next uh, organelle. Uh, that is uh, um, raphenoplasmic reticulum and ribosome. Ribosome and raphenoplasmic reticulum, we can look uh, next time. So Friday we will see it, right? Yes. Okay, then uh, see you on Friday again. Okay, sir. Goodbye, sir. Okay, well.